Hi everyone, so this is going to be a really quick video, um, not that quick, but <laughs> I'm trying to make my videos straight to the point and trying to make them shorter and more concise. But this is something that I think you'll find interesting because a lot of people at the moment are feeling a little bit down, a little bit lost, partly because of the whole quarantine lockdown situation, but also just in general, this is like a time, it's a difficult time of the year because we're literally heading towards the second part of 2020, but it's been obviously not a very good time for most of us around the world. And there's a lot more people that are also coming to me for counselling, for coaching, and also just conversations I've been having. People are having lots of dips, lots of low days. And something I want to talk about is using photos to evoke positive memories and also to evoke, like, change your mood and just positive feelings. So the other night, I'd just had, like, a bad day. So we all have ups and downs, but for me, it's usually work-related. If, if I've had, like, a really full-on day where it's just been one thing after the other, no time to go for a walk, no time to have something to eat or to relax or whatever, I'm usually at some point in the evening, just not feeling as good um, as usual. So randomly, I just started looking through some of my photos on my phone and then on my Facebook page. And for whatever reason, 2018, which is two years ago, was just a good year <laughs> for photos, for partying, for relationships. And I started going through all my photos and what I realized, I didn't realize the time and I'd looked at the time and it was literally like one in the morning by the time I'd finished. And the reason for that was because I was looking through all of these photos and each photo, there was a memory attached and it was a positive one. And then I was starting to reflect on, oh, I remember when I was here. I remember when this happened. And, and then it evoked a feeling. And then before you know it, you just, you've looked through loads of photos. You've started feeling good. It brings you back to that time. Now, some people are gonna say, cause I've had clients say this, when they look at the past photos, where they were happy or where things were going well, it evokes a negative feeling because they realize how far they've gone down. But the way to look at it is, whenever you take a photo, it's a memory, but it's also a period in time where you will never, you. it's like you are reliving that moment again. So the way to look at it sometimes is look at it in a, like I've got this photo here, this is my thumbnail <laughs> and you know, it's an image of um, myself and my auntie when we were in Ghana. Now this photo was taken, at a, it was like a sad time, but it was also positive. It was sad time because it was, um, I was there for the funeral of my dad, but it was positive in the sense that all of my family were there. I got to um, travel to Ghana. It was, my dad had been in England, so he actually passed in England, but we made that decision to transport him. He's, he, he was born in Ghana. So it was the whole feeling of, you know, returning someone home at the time of their death, and he was quite elderly and he was ill. But just getting a chance to be in his village, and I spoke at the funeral, and it was three days of, you know, there's traditions and stuff. And so every time I look at that photo, I don't think of a funeral. I think of how happy, I mean, I haven't seen my auntie since, and that was in 2011 when this picture was taken. So I suppose it's just sometimes like, it's the same as we've, I'd say this about music, about film, about photos, they can all take you to a different place. And I, I don't know about other people, but I might watch a movie for like three hours, and if it's really good, and if the acting is fantastic, and if the story is fantastic, it will take you to, it's like escapism. And during those three hours that you're watching the movie, it can alter how you're feeling, it can alter your mind, because that's the whole point, isn't it? Same as with music, you can listen to certain music and it will lift you, it will take you somewhere else, it will, it, it can alter how you feel. You know, if you put on, um, I sent, <laughs> A YouTube clip of um, Pharrell that song happy and I listen to that like a lot I'll put that on and I'll be dancing around <laughs> you know um, it just lifts your mood and it just gets you ready for the day do you know what I mean and the same as with photos what I'd encourage people to do is go through your phone occasionally try and see what happens when you do this and maybe spend an hour or however long just flip through some of the photos where you, you're smiling 
where you're happy, where you're in a nice place. Like I've got photos from 2009 when I attended my friend's wedding in Cuba. I've got um, images from when I was in Ghana the first time, so not for my dad's funeral, but um, visiting my dad. I've got um, pictures of me scuba diving in Me scuba diving in Mexico. I can't swim, so <laughs> that always brings up like lots of stories and memories for me because it took the scuba diving trainer a good 45 minutes to convince me to actually get in the water. <laughs> Then I couldn't breathe properly because I was too anxious about actually going underwater. But then I spent a good hour holding this like instructor's hand and going under these caves for, it was a good hour, I think. And it's just a brilliant memory. Now that happened, I think, 2010, could even be earlier. I can't even remember what year we went to Mexico, the group of us. But every time I see that image of me with the scuba diving mask on inside the caves, no one would know that I was like <laughs> scared and that it took me 45 minutes to do it. But the memory I have is that I achieved something because I would, I've already said this and I'll say it again. If someone offered me a million pounds to do scuba diving, I still wouldn't do it because it was so scary. And if that instructor hadn't held my hand, this was a German guy, Marcus, and I'll always remember him as well because he didn't have to do that. But the fact that he did that for the whole like um, journey I'll always remember that, so those, these are memories that are not ever going to be forgotten. So if you are feeling down, or if sometimes you just feel that where your life is, it's not where you want to be, get the photos out, you know, just look at them, stare at them, start thinking about how you felt at the time, start thinking about what memories they evoke within you, and to me, I think it's a brilliant exercise, it's just, a, it's not a, you know, a, a long-term fix, but it's just a temporary, it's like a little high, isn't it? Rather than you going for the drink or going for like, you know, something that is not positive. Think of, a, like I said, a movie, photos, music, whatever it takes, motivational stuff that you need to listen to, whatever it takes to lift your mood and switch it at that particular time. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Please leave your comments. Please feel free to like to share and to subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great afternoon. Bye.